Hello everybody, how are you today? Well, today we've got a nice little card I'm calling the Pretty Panel Happy Birthday card. The reason I'm calling it a Pretty Panel is because we start with a nice little scene like this. And we're going to cut that scene up into panels. And I'll show you then what it looks like. We've got that section on the front and when you open it out you see the rest of the scene inside the card. Now this this is from the same paper um, we've got the little pixie on the front whereas when we do this one we'll have the little fairy on the inside of the card instead. So there we are let's get to it. First of all you start off with a um, A5 piece of cardboard or cardstock and you fold that piece of cardstock in half. Now this is really thick paper so if you are folding this you need to fold that down gently or score it first before you fold it so that you don't um, crack the paper. So once I've got it down I can now score and get a nice firm score. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to um, fold that back four centimeters. So I then have to get my ruler and mark four centimeters in from this edge. There. Now all I'm going to do because that should be 90 degrees, if I just fold right on that mark there, if I just fold right on that mark there and make sure that my, um, I'm sorry I'm having trouble seeing this, I'll do this a bit darker. There we are. If I fold that back, and make sure that that edge is exactly on there then that should be a perfect 90 degree angle I really shouldn't have to fold the uh, uh, measure the other end now that you've got that like that I've actually cut out a nice little piece nice little border pattern here it is here just pop out the excess bits and we're going to glue that underneath this flap so it sticks out like that but we're not gluing that flap down we're leaving it up in the air so I just turn it over this way run a little bit of glue along the edge there like that and then put this right up to the edge so that only the pattern shows on the other side like that and then you have your panel okay so now we're going to cut this up and what we have to do is cut this seven centimeters in from the left and then another two so we have a seven centimeter piece a two centimeter piece and a six centimeter piece because this is actually 15 centimeters wide so the easiest way to do it is not to have to measure at all if you've got a, a little guillotine or something like that you just slice it down at seven centimeters and you slice it at two and I'll make sure I've got the two yes two centimeters and there are our three pieces we have ready to go now the first piece is actually going to get glued onto this front panel only so it will stick out from the edge like that and when you glue it on make sure that the border on all those three sides it all looks when you've got it closed 
it looks like it's got an even border all the way around even though you're not gluing on this side that all looks like it's an even border all the way around okay so the best way now here's a little trick if you want to know where to put your glue is get it in position lift that up and then just run a pencil line along here and you'll know that you only put the glue up to this line or just before this line don't go past And there it is in position now once you've got it in position you open it out and we're going to glue this one in here between the fold line see the fold lines there you're going to evenly distance it make it level top and bottom and even mount either side between the fold line and that piece Once that's in position we're going to glue this one on the other side and we're going to glue it up to the fold line actually that needs to be moved a little bit if it can yes it can still I had some wiggle room that gets glued up to the fold line but not over the fold line because you want to still be able to fold it and you don't want that in the road so this piece then comes up and make sure it's level top and bottom with that and it's even with the fold line there we are so we have our little panel on now we need to now glue this white piece on and if you look at the the spacing there if I bring that over there see that white sticking out a little bit I need to slice some off so I'm going to make the border the same as that border there sitting there and I'm going to put this out over the top and I'm going to rule down the excess because we don't want that sticking out and I will slice that piece off I'll slice it off just before the pencil line so we don't see the pencil line when we cut it because everybody spaces their things out differently so there we are so that it's even top and bottom and when we glue this on we've still got to make sure that that is not sticking out at all Before I push that down hard, I'll put that out across. I need to put that in a little bit. Put it out across again. It needs to still go in a little bit more. There we are. Can't see it. Can I see it at the top? I can. Just a little bit down. There we are. And then firmly push it down now what I now so this is the area we write on there's our little scene with our lovely little fairy on the inside now the only thing left to do is I have a couple of punches 
and some red and some white paper. So I'm going to punch the red paper out with the scalloped punch. There. And I'm going to punch the white paper with just the oval plain edge. And I am going to tape them to each other with mounting tape. So the white gets taped to the red dead center Hopefully I'll get that right. Get further over. Okay. And then the red gets taped to the front of the card. And you don't really want to hide your scene. So find a place on the card where you're not hiding all your beautiful flowers. You can go there like that. And then the last thing I did is this time I'm using a um, sticker. Now the biggest, and it's all one Piece, the happy birthday. I just have to get it to stick on there. There we are. All done. Happy birthday. And there's our little scene. Here's the other one with the little pixie on the front. And there's our little scene. So there's our two cards for today. Oh, here's our design for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye for now.